Hey everyone, this is Dirt Merchant LC, and I would like to dedicate this video for everyone who has been on the wrong end of a bubble team. A lot of people are claiming that this strategy is overpowered and hands you wins, and I would respectfully disagree. You are on a knife edge when you do this strategy, and here's some proof that I wanted to show you because not everyone posts videos of them failing at something on YouTube, and here is how to counter a bubble team. Uh, one thing I'm afraid of are really good snipers. As you can see, there goes three of my teammates, and four, and I'm about to be number five from someone shotgun. So in a trial situation, having really good snipers on your team will prevent the defenders from getting their supers in the first place. Uh, and also, with that said, um, I'm not typically afraid of golden guns, even though they're a one-shot, because typically you can replace a bubble in time, unless your teammates have reflexes of a sloth. I want to give this guy at the very end of this segment here a uh, 10 out of 10 for style. And it just worked out very well. This is the heavy round. We thought we were going to win and get everyone once the clock stopped. Uh, but what happens next is pretty amazing. We did not see it coming. He self reses, blinds us all, ninja loots our heavy while we're blind, and then wipes us all out. Now, also, I have a cardinal rule with the bubble don't leave it for this reason. A buddy peeked out to snipe another sniper and lost. His bubble disappeared, and we all died. Another situation. I'm with my friend Warfield and his buddy Loco. We were camping on the flag, gifted the void triggered in, had plenty of orbs of light and super energy to wait the rest of the round down, and uh, they had the bright idea to rush after they killed someone, and they both wiped. That leaves me by myself, and my bubble could not last long enough to end the round, unfortunately. And a lot of the times, even my best friends make the mistake of leaving the bubble. If you're going to derail, if you're going to derail a bubble train, the best way to do it is to just look for a stupid titan that's leaving the bubble. As you can see here, Rush deployed his bubble, then left it, and died. Which takes away my cover, and I get sniped. As you can see here, I foolishly left, and I got hit by an Axiom Bolt. And then my teammate deployed his bubble, then didn't have the thought of reviving his teammate through the wall of the bubble. He died, and this all just gets shot to hell. Moving on to Blade Dancers. If you're going to Blade Dance a bubble, stay on the outside and use Razor's Edge. That is the best way to deal with this strategy. I strongly do not recommend running on the inside and trying to knife everyone because it takes three hits to kill each titan and it only takes a shotgun and a melee to kill you. Here's another example of a golden gun. He had the bright idea of trying to run into the bubble, however it only takes a shotgun to get him. And if I had a little bit of higher sensitivity in this game I would have gotten that blade dancer. Unfortunately 10 is as high as it goes and also my teammates could not gang up on the last one. Also be careful when you're throwing suppressor grenades. It's no fun to suppress yourself. This is also an example of why you do not want to shoot the enemy bubble. This is a real life situation where they just wanted to shoot our bubbles, thinking they could pop it, which is really silly because the only thing that can pop bubbles are other supers. And by doing this, they just created a bunch of orbs of light for us and just fed the fire. This was a setup example. Uh, we were giving people wins, inviting them to parties, and we were educating them on this very subject, on how to deal with the bubble team. And we decided to have a bubble popping contest to see how many of them they could pop with their guns. Uh, they got none of them. They disappeared from us deploying, deploying new ones. Um, but as you can see, we have a bunch of orbs of light flying around everywhere. And there's nothing they can do. Shooting the bubble only hastens your demise.
Okay, I think you guys get the idea by now. Don't shoot the bubble and don't leave the bubble. Now also, don't try suicide rocketing. As you can see here, the entire enemy team tried that and uh, didn't work. Ten seconds to go. Here's another example of supers that didn't work too well for the enemy. I suppressed the gunslinger. The blade dancer just got shotgunned and meleeed. Nothing he could really do about that because he tried entering. And the sunslinger didn't do too much good either. The general rule of thumb is just never walk in an enemy titan's bubble, especially if they have armor of light on. Now here's an example of a Warlock using Shatter. Shatter is the only guaranteed way to kill everyone inside a bubble. The reason for this is the first two pellets break and the third kills. Here's another example. Also, Bloom works very nicely with this. Not even Fist of Havoc is as successful as a Nova Bomb with Shatter. Just watch out for trees uh, and other environmental factors that can stop your Nova Bomb from successfully hitting. Enemy captured zone. Now this was a very interesting example. They gave their Blade Dancer Blessing of Light, thinking it would work if he came inside. However, three strats of invective later prove otherwise. Here's another example of how to use Razor's Edge. He was at a very safe distance, I couldn't rush him in time, and he wiped all of us out. Now this has to be the fastest shockwave I've ever seen. He just went choo 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 and got everyone. Anyway, thank you for watching the video, I hope you enjoy. And always, at the end of my videos, look for a quick bonus message because you never know when I might throw something in there about my personal life or an upcoming video or an idea. And I like doing that. So I guess I'll include this bonus message in the same recording here. Why not? Um, I am currently an EMT student. I'm not sure if I told you that already in my other videos. Uh, so it's going to be a while in between posts because I have a lot of book work to do and I'm juggling my job and school and it's just a lot of stuff going on and also I have the idea of synchronizing music to destiny not necessarily making like a like guns shooting to the beat or anything like that but I would like to find a song where I look at the lyrics and hear it and also see if I can find a way to have those lyrics match up with what's going on in the video um, for example, uh, I guess with Halo by Beyonce, there's lyrics like, Hit me like a ray of sun, burning through my darkest night. I could totally see a golden gun going off and shooting people, or people self-resing, sort of an angelic appearance. Uh, that's just one example. But if you guys have any ideas on cool songs where the lyrics could match up with Destiny gameplay, uh, send me a message, and I think we could start a really cool project here. And I really hope you enjoyed the video. I have more to come on armor of lights and it, the mechanics that go with that and also I might throw one in there about the necrocosm because that gun actually isn't as bad as people think it is and I have another video idea for talking about how the sensitivity should be raised in this game for people that are used to playing at a high sensitivity that's all I can say for today I'm out of here